The job we're going to do today is we're going to replace the float valve in the WC system. Um, the tools we need for this, adjustable spanner, a pair of grips, slight screwdriver, and again, I've got a towel just in case we get any uh, drips of water, save it going on the floor. Firstly, what I will do, again, remove the system lid, put it somewhere safe. I'm going to isolate the supply. Flush the lid. Now I'm going to take the float valve out. First, we'll have to take a tap connector at the end of the valve. Just in case we have any drips of water. Good. Then I'm going to release the float valve on the side of the system using an adjustable spanner. Take the float off the end of the valve just so it's easier to get it out of the system. Good. I'm getting the new float valve. Again, take the, make sure the float's off of it so it's easier to get in. Make sure the tail fits into the tap connector. Then with the back nut, it stops on the thread. And before we tighten everything up, just make sure the float valve is. And using the adjustable spanner, just hold them against with a pair of grips, just make sure it's in there nice and firm. Making sure that the float valve itself, the arm is operational. Moving up and down. And again, because we have a brass nut on the plastic thread, make sure that we don't cross thread. Again, making sure that the arm is operational. One of the important parts as well when we put a new float valve in is to make sure that we adjust the water level inside the system. There's usually a mark on, on the inside of the system to see where the water should come to. Okay. Place the system lid. All done.